Welcome students. Today we'll do an experiment to study the refraction of light ray through glass slab. This is a glass slab. We're going to study refraction through this. We need a glass slab, paper pins, thumb pins, white paper sheet, ruler, pencil and an eraser. The diagram which you see over here will be the ultimate diagram. We shall be drawing on this white sheet. This is how we are going to proceed. We place glass slab on the plain sheet and draw its boundary. Remove the glass slab and on any point like this we draw a normal and an angle of 30 degree with the help of a protractor. This line will be serving us as the incident ray and it will be projected outward. Now we will place the glass slab back into its boundary nicely so that it fits exactly into the boundary. We fix two pins on the incident ray. This will be the initial arrangement. As you have seen this, we have fixed two pins on a predetermined angle of 30 degrees. This is the angle of 30 degree. We have fixed two new pins on the other side of the glass slab by keeping our head down to this level of the table in such a way that all four pins are in a straight line. Let us see whether they are in a straight line or not. This is the view which we can see from both the sides. From wherever you see all the four pins will be seen on the straight line. Now we will remove the glass slab and pins one by one and encircle their points. So what you are now seeing is that we have joined these two points to the edge of the glass slab. Then at this side we have drawn a normal and we have joined this point and this point. This is the refracted ray through the glass slab. By putting the protractor and measuring the angle, we find that the angle is coming out to be exactly 30 degrees. So what we have studied actually is that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of emergence. What else we can see in the diagram is that incidence ray enters and bends and then again turns away. This is called an emergent ray. This one is the original direction of the incident ray. As you can see in this diagram on the board, this distance is actually the distance between the original direction and the emergent ray. This is called the lateral displacement of light ray. Thank you.